Anywho, um, you know, I don't know that Claude will become irrelevant at any time they get their, their act together. He is actually very powerful and we all love that context window. However, if we get really good with Manser and all of these other uh, different models, there's going to be no stopping us. So if I go to open router and we, we are working with, I'm going to show um, Mythomax just because I want to show working with that particular tool. And this is where this gets kind of cool. I'm going to click auto write. So it will save what writes to the, the thing. And I'm going to go ahead and go let's bang. So it's going to read those instructions and it's going to write hopefully just that one little part. There we go. Yay. We are logical now. <clears throat> and it's the right, it's the right pacing. Isn't this crazy? It's parfait. So it, it, it got started there and now LLM2 is going to get called and it should continue off for frustrated. It got a little bit wonka do there, but we use a smarter model next. I think it's going to be fine. Ooh, do you remember the tale of Miranda and Orion? So now I'm going to do this exact same thing with a different model. All right, let's try... Uh, Let's try Claude, shall we? And I'll try Claude with, um, so you guys can see it, it gives me problems too. We're going to go open router and we will go Claude too. Okay, so the temperature, I'm actually going to make it 0.7. So it needs to listen to my prompting since Claude sometimes has this problem. And I probably should have fixed these for Mythomax too. I did not. Um, and the maximum length is fine. It can actually go bigger, but we'll update this. And we're going to keep continue, please, and keep writing. So let's go ahead and do three bangs, just because if it writes like thousands of words, this could be a few minutes. So we'll do three bangs. I don't think Claude's going to need three bangs for this, but we'll do three bangs. So it's just going to say the same thing that we did before, and we're just going to click let's bang. So this goes out to everybody who wanted the other models. And let's see if it says I can't write a book. If it does, yeah, see, I'm building a just society instead. Let's, uh, let's not use Claude. Now, here's what I'm going to do since Claude's being a jerk and most of you don't have access to an API key. We're going to hope OpenAI is, is working right now. If it's not, then this won't work. I'm going to go ahead and use GPT-4. So we're going to do the temperature 1.8 and we're going to do our, um, our top P at 0.6. So we get good writing. All right, so we'll update this. I'm going to use GPT-4 because most of you have access to GPT-4. Let's do three bangs and let's see what we get. Because remember, GPT-4 can write back 3,000 words. Oh, okay. So this is an error with OpenAI's having problems. Curses. Well, thank goodness the other open router models are here for us. You know what? Let's do some llama. There's nothing bad in this. So let's do some, um, let's do Claude code llama, believe it or not. We'll do the temperature at 0 0.8, top P of 1.0. Yeah, the error is gone because uh, the code llama has a context window of 16,000 tokens. Now, I think it only writes back about 300 or 400 tokens back. We'll find out. Yeah, it's not. It basically thought that's already happened. And so it's it's continuing the scene. So this is the same problem with um, with the uh it's the same problem with the other dumber models it just didn't quite understand what we were doing and now it's following instruction two so we ended up with <laughs> instruction two this isn't her enchanted war thing what does gruff say to eleanor okay you're drunk llama go away we're not going to keep that so we'll just delete this uh let's see what other model we can use let's try mancer i know mancer likes to write uh not safe for work um, and our bangs will go ahead and go to five bangs and let's bang. Mancer actually writes pretty well. Um, he's a little bit expensive. There we go. I'm not mad at Mancer. Anyone else not mad at Mancer? I almost want to say he wrote better than everything else. I mean, that's really good writing for an AI. Yeah, Mancer prose is pretty good. 
And Mansur's actually a competitor, I think, is on par competing with Kyra. Is that how you say it? Kyra in Novel AI. And the cool thing about Mansur is that because we can now loop it, it can it can write you 1,200 words with one click if you just do this. Now, you'll notice this is actually going really well. And now we're on we're on four right now. It's actually writing quite a bit, too. Now, obviously, we would need to do um, first person points of views. We would need to test how Mansur reads it and everything. Um, I think it's kind of fun. We'll, we'll validate that next hot diggity dog. Y'all, we just got 1755 following the beats with Mansur an open source model. Let's see what it charged me. So about nine cents, I paid about nine cents for 1800 words. <laughs> Yay, Mansur. We're so proud of you, dude. And you know what Mansur's never going to do? Mansur's never going to tell you he can't write right now. He's not going to ever tell you he's not comfortable writing. Um, so, and obviously he can write some stuff that's pretty decent. He doesn't only have to write sex and stuff like that. So today, Mansur is great. Mansur is open source. Um, so Mansur is open source and uh, good to use um, and available through Open Router. So for my money today, Mansur is the best one. Um, Mansur is not a diva. Uh, I also think that Mythomax did a pretty good job too, because Mythomax is is cheaper if you look at Open Router right now. Mythomax, and they have the same context tokens, okay? So Mythomax is 0 0.001875. So 0 0.0018. If I go to Weaver, um, it's 0 0.0056. So Weaver is, so it's 3x. It's actually like 3x. So it's a third. So if Mansur would charge you three to four dollars, Weaver would be one, uh, um, Mythomax would be one to two dollars. Now we also do have this new new model too here, which is uh, Methalian, and he is the same price price as Mythomax. I don't know why the llama isn't work. I mean, I kind of want to get the llama seventy B. I want to try this. Let's see, four thousand tokens is a token limit, so it could handle a couple of bangs. And this is what I love about this tool. As soon as you have kind of like your setup, you can run it through a bunch of different models, like very quickly. I can just go, okay, let's do llama, 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 llama 70B. Let's go with uh, five bangs. So we'll do the five bangs as well. We're now doing llama. So this is actually a filtered one. Um, the pluses of this is, uh, let's see here. Llama's 0 0.0015, so, but it is 50% off, so it's usually 0 0.003. And Llama sucks. <laughs> I hate this. There's no dialogue at all. Screw Llama. Now it's talking to itself. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Gladly, let's continue with the story. Okay. I'm going to say this is a fail. Yeah, Llama's a very dull boy. Llama's terrible. Alexander, it's over. You've been caught. Leave now. Gladly. Let's continue with the story. <laughs> and now it's looping. I love how like it took it five banks to decide it was writing a story. Oh no. You know what I think happened? I think it forced itself to think. So it did this whole thing where it's going to summarize what it does. And now it's trying to write it, but it's still not very good. <laughs> it's still not great. It is cheap, but even when it's it finally wrote, it wasn't great writing. So I, my money is still myth or max or mancer. Let's let's try another model. Let's see what else we can get here. So we'll take that out. I think I think it's only fair that we try the bargain basement Hermes. Who's on board? Do we want to try some like really? Like, <laughs> it's so cheap. It's practically free. Let's do it. All right. Let's refresh ourselves about what what Hermes can do. Hermes is a open source. Uh, it is not filtered at all it can do 4,000 tokens as its context window 0. 0.0002 and it is 50% off right now so I think it's 0. 0.001 right now this is going to be insane let's bang Eleanor sat her enchanted okay holy crap y'all this is the cheapest model of all but it is a little bit kind of procedural. Like it, it it's very, uh, the scene ends. 
just stone wings gently thudding against the floor as he lands. So it's got some good stuff. This is definitely an earlier model. It's not as smart as some of the other models. There's definitely would be more editing here. However, if you are the kind of writer, how many of you are using AI just to get like a skeleton sketch of the scene and then you like rewrite it? If you are that kind of an author, I think that I think that Hermes has has uh, very good implications for you because not only can he do this, but he can he can give you stuff that if you put this in another tool and you highlight this and you expand it in Notion or pseudo write or something, you could just get this as a prompt. And now he's like hallucinating <laughs> and giving you questions. Um, it actually gave us a grand total, although it hallucinated at the end. 1400 words so probably about seven or eight hundred of that was was remotely usable but the pricing that's the that's the kicker thank you for joining us on something wickedly cool in ai um this is what we do in our lab sessions so the future fiction academy is eight labs a week you can come live you can watch the replays after you get the transcript you also get the lab report. So the five of us are the main instructors for Future Fiction Academy, and we work together to specialize in different parts of AI tools to come up with really innovative prompting and how to use these tools in our everyday publishing careers. So if you would like to join the Future Fiction Academy, we would love to have you because uh, it's a community that is AI positive and we're all working together to stay on top of this new technology before we all get left behind. So by sticking together, we, you know, for example, I kind of specialize in open AI and prompt engineering. Um, who here specializes in series writing, novellas and novels? Yep, and yep. And then who specializes in mid journey and all of the artistic stuff? And <laughs> yep. so basically between the instructors, we all have overlapping skills. We invite you to come join us and have fun because we love to play with this stuff um, and we love to share, share it. So hope to see you in lab soon. Bye.